will be looking at the responders too. Uh, we call it uh, e. Uh, sorry, we call it responders proctoring or responders e proctoring. Um, as you know, this is a tool that uh, will allow us to do the invigilation, um, and from this, it will automatically capture the student environment and then uh, provide a flag so that we know what's happening on the student side. And from that, we can uh, view a report and uh, see if there is any suspicious event uh, that actually involves student uh, copying others. All right. Um, it has two components. Uh, let me make it bigger, uh, presentation. Um, right. This one better, right? Um, so there are two components here. One is lockdown browser and the other one is responders monitor. Um, it comes together. Um, it works with our uh, spectrum when you create a quiz uh, and then you can uh, allow this responders monitor to be used along with the quiz. So the first component lockdown browser, it is a custom browser, uh, but it prevents uh, the student from navigate away from that browser. So it is used along with the uh, spectrum. As of now, only, sorry, it used along with the quiz module. Uh, currently, only quiz that able to cater for this. Uh, so when this lockdown browser is en en enabled, uh, the student cannot uh, do printing, capture screen, go to other web, access applications such as uh, instance messaging, and so on. And the key shortcut, uh, Windows shortcut also disabled. So therefore, the student will only able to interact with the browser. In case if you want the student to interact with a calculator, spreadsheet, certain website, uh, it is possible, but you need to do some setting on that. Um, along with that, we have responders monitor, and this responders monitor will be using the student's camera to capture the environment. Um, so whatever captured uh, at the student side will be uh, channeled to the uh, to the server, and then from that, they will be running uh, algorithm to flag any uh, suspicious event, and then uh, from the uh, spectrum, we will be able to see the report. All right, instructor can review the details of the assessment. This is uh, the report that I'm talking about just now. Um, so this is how the lockdown browser looks like. We have, um, there is no menu up there, uh, menu disabled, and also there is no uh, web address field. And the the student will be able to see uh, whatever appear as the uh, quiz question at the middle. Um, uh, the, and the student don't have ability to do the uh, command key, such as copy, paste, unless it is allowed by the uh, lockdown browser. And no start button, no system tray or dock. And on the second part, responders monitor, um, the student will be uh, need to be need to use the camera along with this uh, lockdown browser, and at the end you will see uh, this kind of report. Um, later on, I will show you in detail. These are the some some of the setting. We will run through uh, the example uh, try run afterwards. The lockdown browser and responders monitor can be used in many ways. Um, you can have separate session, half student uh, use lockdown browser, half student use uh, responders monitor. Uh, those can be arranged. And you can even have a lockdown browser and working with the, uh, instead of responders monitor, you can uh, let the lockdown browser working along with the uh, MS team, for example. Um, over here, the setting for the uh, responders monitor. Um, first, we need to add 
on the uh, our spectrum. Uh, I will show you in a, in a moment. Um, this is the flow. Uh, first, uh, add a block, and then uh, this block will appear. And you can click on this dashboard, and it will bring to you this to this window. And from here, you will be able to see um, numerous of uh, videos that can put the guide you in. If you are uh, familiar with it, then you can tick on this so that next time when you click dashboard, this will not appear anymore. And then after that, when you advance to the next step, you will see a list of quiz that are available on the uh, Spectrum course. And you can uh, enable the quiz to use Responders Monitor. All right, I think better I go straight away to the uh, browser and show you immediately how to use this um, Responders Monitor. All right, um, for your information, the exam section as well as uh, PTM, um, they have created a separate uh, uh, spectrum for the purpose of exam. Um, the link is if you can test out, it is a spectrum. But with exam at the end. PM, you don't mind. That's the address. Let me copy and then make it bigger. Uh, not bad. So this is the um address for the uh, spectrum exam mainly uh, designed for the purpose of um, proctoring so at, at this stage um the proctoring responders proctoring and uh, are available for both platform and this one spectrum exam as well as our uh, teaching and learning spectrum Okay, um, if I open this one, it will list down all the courses that you are uh, in charge. Uh, for my case, I have uh, all these three courses that I'm uh, taking care of. And then on top of that, um, I believe you will be able to see uh, additional two things here. If I can make it bigger. Down below here are the courses. If you uh, can't see this one, you need to click this burger button. And then you will see uh, all the courses. And then right over here, these two courses are mainly for the purpose of um, uh, training and also testing. Uh, this is for the lecturer. All lecturer will be seeing this. And this one uh, for student. Student will be able to see this report training. So for the lecturer, I believe all of you are able to see this one. So now um, I'm entering to this course. Uh, at the beginning, you might not. If this is your course, you might not see this uh, responders lockdown browser. Uh, let's say if I go to here. Uh, it is already there. Let me check another one. Yep, you might not seeing that uh, responders uh, block at, on, at the right hand side yet. So if you don't see that, you need to enable it. How to enable it? First, you need to turn edit on. Let's say this is the course. You can uh, open uh, your course, go to this uh, address, um, the spectrum exam, the one I uh, highlighted here and then go to any of your existing course. Um, let me check with the chat box whether you're able to follow me along so far. Let me. I missed the slot one. Okay, that one can be answered later. 
May I know whether you still follow, uh, yeah, whether you are still with me? Yes, all right. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Noor Fadia. So GIK, um, I'm, I'm showing you how to enable the, um, the block for the responders monitor. So turn it on. So if you see the pencil icon there, that means you're already in editing mode and uh, go to do, to this uh, sidebar. Again, if you don't see this one, you click this burger button, right? And then you will see this ad block and then uh, add this responders lockdown browser and it will appear on the right hand side by default and of course you can uh, move up and down by using this um, uh, button All right and then when you click this it will uh, bring you to the uh, responders uh, setting All right this is the uh, welcoming page where you see the guideline introduction or the videos related and further additional video are available here. Uh, please view it and uh, it will help you to further understand how to do the setting. And further navigate away, you will see a list of um, uh, quizzes. All right, for, for today, I'll be, um, all right, you might not see uh, on this platform because uh, on this platform, it is uh, just your course, no, uh, no content so far. It, because the purpose of this uh, spectrum exam is for the purpose of um, um, exam. All right? Let me navigate away to the uh, course that we going to use. Um, I go here, and then e-proctoring for lecturer and instructor. So if you go here, you will see uh, resources, the same video that you see in the uh, startup window just now, when you enable the uh, responders lockdown uh, browser. Then over here you will see, uh, actually I bring those video to, to this page. Right. Um, now I, I'm going to click on this, then I will see all the existing uh, quizzes that I uh, created so far. Uh, this is the video that I'm uh, talking about just now, the one I put at the front page of this course. Right. Um, let me click continue. Uh, it takes some time because this uh, it will communicate with the responder server um, to grab whatever information and also to synchronize the setting. Now, um, so far in this course, I created uh, two quizzes so far. So those quizzes will be listed down uh, in this page. All right. Um, let's create from fresh. I'm going to uh, go there, open new uh, window for this course only. Let me jump again to this course uh, for instructor. Now I'm going to create uh, a new one for today's session. First thing, I will be creating the, uh, the quiz holder. Let me rename this as uh, second round. Um, workshop. Um, I'll be adding the quiz. And this is, uh, I'm adding the quiz holder. Let's say this is quiz. Okay. 
and then you can type down description over here if you want maybe an instruction to the student and then for the timing i just leave it uh, default there yeah, this is important you need to set when the exam uh, uh, should start and then when it close um, Right over here. Let me show you this. Uh, this one. Please do remember to untick all this. Um, because you don't want the student to see um, the summary of the answer. Whether the answer that they answered is correct or not at this stage. Because this is the purpose of exam. If you... Uh, conduct the quiz for the purpose of uh, learning purpose then you you can uh, enable this but for the exam purpose uh, my suggestion is to untick um, these two column right um, the rest is okay right to ensure um, no one is taking the uh, quiz um, while you are formulating the question, you can hide this uh, quiz. That's one way. Another way is uh, to set the time right over here, this timing. It's very important so that the student will not be seeing your question. All right. Now I go back to the quiz. Let me go back here. All right, so far I've created the quiz holder. I, I yet to in, in include the question. There are two ways of to include a question um, in the quiz. Um, one is by using on-screen instruction from this uh, spectrum, uh, option number one. And another way is to add uh, from question bank. Let's uh, create from this follow on screen, let's say I have the first question true and false. Um, I call it question one. Let's say very simple question, one plus one equal to two. Is it true or false? The answer is true. And then I can proceed with save. And if I want to view the question, this will be showing the question. Now, the second question, let's say now I want the student to create, create an essay and uh, I will allow student to visit a web page. I will allow student to use a spreadsheet. I will allow student to see a shared sheet. And also I want to allow student to upload their handwritten answer. I can do so by uh, do this following setting. So first I will add, uh, let's say essay. Add. So this is my question number two. Let's say um, the question summarize the bit 19 situation um, in, in Asia. You may view this map. So I'm going to add uh, this website. Copying the address. And then I go back to the setting just now. Where was it? Oops. Uh, okay, here. Yeah. Let me put all the way to the front so that I know this is the one I'm editing. Um, right. I'll be adding the 
the address of that and then I would like the student to open in new window all right let's say I want the student to view a spreadsheet that um, I'm going to share a sheet for example something like this for all student I have student name or student ID and then I have all the parameter assigned to each of the student so I can uh, share this sheet as well um, share so anyone with the link can view Let me go back here you may use this um, assign parameter same thing um, but be careful all students will be seeing the same shape and if you enable editing all students will be able to edit that same shape right now if you want the student to use separate sheet This is separate one. Um, I have created a spreadsheet, separated one on, I think I put it in my um, download folder here. Sheet different, all right. So I can use that one, use this uh, link and browse. Um, we can upload the file. This is the file. There's no I put in download there. Um, if you want to use the same name, then you just leave this box empty. If you want to use a new name for this file, then you type in the new name here. For now, I just leave it empty. Upload this file. So now this is linked to the, uh, the Excel just now. Um, and what next? All right, to allow student to upload their, okay, now you may upload your and then this is here. Use the upload file. Okay. You can put a note there. Use your uh, normally we student will be using their mobile phone to snap the uh, answer, turn into PDF, for example, or maybe they want to upload in JPEG. That's fine. Um, let's say use your Camera, capture your answer, turn them into a single PDF file. It can be a single or it can be multiple file. For this case, I uh, ask them to uh, upload a single PDF file. Scanner. Cam S E A N D R to convert. Right. Um this you need to do a practice before you do I mean you conduct this exam. Of course you need to uh, let your student familiar on the process of capture the answer convert into a pdf file and then upload um, this one uh, student need to use um, either otg use otg on the go or let's 
di cable to transfer file. For my case, I will be showing on how to use USB cable, right? Um, and down below here, um, allow attachment. Um, you might, might want to set to one, two, three. For my case, I put unlimited. So attachment are optional. So that's it. I save changes. Now I have two questions so far. I can view the question. So they can open the web, open a page uh, spreadsheet that contains the uh, unique parameter and they can do calculation using this uh, separate uh, sheet. And then afterward, they can uh, uh, upload their handwritten answer. This will address the question uh, by uh, Dr. Nofadia just now. All right. So I'm okay with that and I will save this. If I want to shuffle a question, I click shuffle. But as of now, I just uh, leave it as it is, save. Next, um, now I need to enable responders monitor uh, for this quiz. I will go to the front page of this course. And then remember to use this. If it is not yet available, uh, uh, please add block uh, using this button and then add responder slot down browser and then it will be appear at this uh, right hand side. Right. Um, now I'm configuring this uh, the quiz that one I the one I created just now to enable lockdown browser. It takes some time. Um, so this is the, the one I created just now. It is not yet uh, enabled. Notice there are two uh, components. One is lockdown browser. The other one is prop train. So let's uh, move on. Setting. The first part is lockdown browser. So I set require responders lockdown browser for this exam. And we have advanced setting here. If your student uh, happen to use iPad, you want to enable this, allow student to take this exam with an iPad. And um, there are uh, some other settings here. Uh, the details of the setting can be viewed when you hover your mouse over the explanation uh, text at the end of this, uh, uh, this option. So like that one, this one and so on. This is to enable a calculator. So if you want to enable a calculator, then you put enable calculator. And this is for printing. Um, another thing, if you want the student to uh, navigate to a website and uh, you want the student to uh, further explore what the uh, content inside the website, then you might want to enable this. The one I show you just now, uh, putting the web link there, it only allow you, your student, you allow your student to view that page only. The student cannot um, navigate uh, further in. But if it is requirement to have the um, uh, further navigation inside, then you might want to include the uh, web domain here. Right? So for my case, I will not be using that. And now the second part, uh, proctoring part. This is where the camera comes into place. So require responders uh, monitoring. Alright. Um, this is lockdown browser. The second part is proctoring. Um, here we have lots of setting here. Um, if you expect uh, numbers of your student uh, having a poor internet connection, uh, I, will, I would suggest you to disable all this. Only webcam check and also facial detection enable. Uh, because what happened, if the student uh, halfway through 
and then uh, the internet connection uh, goes off, the student will have to uh, follow the sequence again. If there are so many uh, sequence that need to be followed, then it will take uh, lots of students' time. So that means students will be uh, uh, reading this uh, instruction, um, uh, reading the tips, um, um, showing the uh, student photo, uh, student ID, and then environment check. And then um, this student have to uh, repeat this sequence again if the connection, uh, uh, if the student somehow disconnected from the uh, lockdown browser. Right. Um, other than that, if your question is in a kind of uh, open book question, you might want to untick this one. This one. Uh, read the second paragraph. You may not want to enable this feature if you require student to record using side camera. So this is the case where the camera is not facing the student. Or if the student are permitted to use textbook. So what happened when the student um, change their head position uh, looking on the textbook, for example, every time they uh, do that, the, uh, the responders monitor will uh, raise a flag. All right. But if you want to enable it, that's fine. But you need to be aware that uh, every time the student uh, change their head position, uh, looking uh, through the books, then there will be flag uh, come up. Now I'm OK with that, then I'll click Save and Close. Let's see if there is any uh, anything abnormal happening. I think so far so good. Almost so far so good, eh? Yes, it is. All right. So I'll continue. Just checking sometime the internet connection disconnected and I'm talking alone. Yeah. Right. Uh, anyway, for the participant, if you have any question, you can just type in the chat area before our Q&A session come up at the end of this session. Thank you. All right. So now I have created, I have, I have done the setting. Now the student can take up the question. All right. Uh, for to demo that, I need to use my second computer. Uh, let me open my second computer. All right. Before that, I need to enable this one. Let me go here. Just now I hide from student, so hidden. I need to enable that one. Show. All right, student able to see the question now. I purposely, uh, uh, let me edit here. I purposely leave the timing uh, open all the time. So for your actual exam, you need to set this uh, to correspond to the exam time and also the uh, exam time. All right. So let me go back here. Now the student can see the question. I'm going to use my second computer and login as a student. Um, let me put my mouse before that I need to enable that camera that's showing. Turn on the, uh, this computer first. Give me some time. All right. So, so I'm using uh, another camera uh, to capture my another machine. All right. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. All right. And let me move my mouse all the way to the corner so that you not get confused. 
Okay, this is my second computer. Um, I will be going to the same page of the exam. All right. And I'll be going to this. And I need to change my role as student. Student. Hope this one uh, working. I tested just now, it works fine. So now I am as a student. So this is the question that I created just now. Second round workshop, quiz A. Right. So we need to use the student need to use lockdown browser with responders uh, monitor, which require webcam. Um, uh, highly important for the student to uh, download the recent one. Um, so download and uh, install this one, this software. Remember to ensure your student download the lockdown browser software from uh, Spectrum course page, not from other way, other other resources. And then after that, uh, this is for the checking purpose. Uh, be careful. Your student might get stuck here. Let me show you what I mean here. Yes. You will see this big uh, logo of Lockdown Browser. Remember, this is for the testing purpose. Uh, the second link, the, the one I, I uh, clicked just now, is for the testing purpose. Oops. Um, student might see this page fail to load. Um, I just had my um, um, lockdown browser uh, running uh, over here. Uh, I need to close this. Let me start all over again. Now I'm install the lockdown browser software. Yes. Reinstall. Finish. And please ensure the uh, computer is not uh, running busy. Identify any uh, application that consume the CPU and turn it off. So for my case, I think all are okay. All right. Uh, task manager need to be closed. Um, I'm done with that. If the problem persists, then uh, you might want to ask your student to restart the PC. So let's do the checking again here. This is preview because we are the we are doing the testing. Then it will uh, go through all the sequence um, right over here. This is webcam check. If you have multiple camera, then you need to click this uh, link to change the camera. So this is me. Yes, and then in this uh, webcam check. Uh, you need to uh, hit this uh, record and then you need to say something. Let's count 1 to 10. 
Okay, then click continue. This is instruction. If you are having a uh, spe specific instruction, you can put it here. Um, and this is the uh, tips and guideline to the student to ensure the room is quiet, no um, television on, radio on. Those need to be turned off. Otherwise, it will interfere with the uh, exam. No game. Um, and also make sure you are sitting at the right uh, place. The computer position need to be uh, at proper orientation. Um, don't wear cap and then make sure the lighting is proper. Normally, if you are not uh, following, if the student not following this uh, guideline, they might fail on the next stage. Next stage. I mean, fail the, the sequence. So this is a student photo. And then next is the student ID. Um, I don't have any ID. Let's say this is my ID. So continue. And then environment tech. Uh, this is where the student will um, uh, flip the camera and then show the what is available on the desk, at the back, and the front, and so on. Start recording. So you might want to tilt the 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 camera because my setup is quite constrained. I cannot tilt uh, that much. Start recording. And next is the facial detection. Uh, this is the recorded environment. If you're okay with that, then click continue. And then facial detection. If the lighting is not proper, then you will not get this green thumbs up. Right? So it is very important. If you have a light from the back, for example, it will interfere with the camera and the system not able to detect the face. Okay, this is the, the thing that uh, might confuse the student. Student might trying to hit this begin exam button and then keep texting you that they cannot take the exam. Uh, because this is the for the trial part. Right? So the student need to actually close this and then click this button instead. Just now I'm clicking this. This is for the testing of the setup. So, um, for the testing purpose, yes, okay to click this one. For the exam purpose, after the testing, uh, straight away go to la launch lockdown browser. So, it will simplify the time. Students don't have to waste their time. So, click over here. Yes. Now, uh, remember the setting I did just now. I just I untick all the 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 requirement. Only uh, the first and the last uh, setting uh, enable. That's mean camera check as well as the last one is the uh, facial detection. So therefore, this will be simplify the sequence. Notice now sequence is much simpler. I agree with that uh, term of use and this is for the first one uh, webcam check and then record the five second video I can count from one to ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we record the video and show the recorded if you're okay with that then Click continue. And then this is for the facial detection check. If okay, then you have green thumbs up there. And then continue. 
uh, now you can begin the exam remember i have two questions that's why over here i only have two the first one is simple it is true and second one uh, the question allow me to open the web see we can see the web and the data there right and also the system allow me to see the uh, shared spreadsheet this is the parameter if you want to assign certain value or certain condition to the student you can use this and the last one is a separate uh, sheet spreadsheet let's say you want the student to uh, perform certain calculation using a spreadsheet uh, notice the number of cell is limited if the student wants more uh, cell they can click this and that uh, let's say I have some a simple one four and five. We want to use summation of them. And the way the student uh, submit this um, answer is by clicking to this uh, uh, this link. When the student click this, a menu uh, uh, notification will uh, pop up, whereby the student now can use Control V to paste the link on the answer sheet. Right, I it already copied. I use Control V. These are the link of the file. Um, Let's say the student wanted you allow the student to answer to submit the uh, handwritten answer. That's where this link uh, come to picture. So choose the file. Over here, um, the student can plug in their mobile phone uh, using USB. Then you can see the folder there. If, for example, you can't see that one you need to uh, refresh let me refresh my phone i can pull out and then put it back and then it will be working the same thing like uh, same way when you, 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 when the student use on the go uh, usb Try again. You need to enable from your phone to enable the let me enable that. Uh, Android system file transfer. File transfer. USB control by. Okay, let me check again. Right. So the student really need to do the practice in order to make sure the process running smoothly. So normally uh, we use a cam scanner, and then the ensure the student always uh, clear the files uh, uh, in this folder to ensure they are not uploading the wrong one. Every time when they uh, capture, convert the PDF, it will appear right over here. Uh, another indicator is to see the the date if we, if we, if it is there. Um, it's not there. Let 
me check uh, date modified right. double check with the modified date so that the student will actually upload the the right uh, file it is always happen the student actually submitting the previous uh, test file so this is very important to ensure they are actually submitting the correct file so when they click that file then you will see the name over there and if the student would like to maintain the name then just leave it empty here if they want to change the name then you can they can uh, write a new name here so as of now i just use the same name so now the answer uh, has been uploaded here and if i'm okay with this then i finish the attempt submit all and finish all right um and then submit if all good then exit the browser all right and i'm going to navigate away from this page i go i'm going to go back to the uh, my main computer um, this is the one i'm using now so now i wanted to see whether there's any attempt has been made to the quiz so this is my spectrum exam this is the course that i'm using currently all the way down the quick way to check is just click on the quiz that uh, uh, attempted just now so so far we have one attempt and it has been taken by uh, me as a student so those are the uh, answer and remember we asked the student to upload the file just now it is right over here it is available right over here right over here and then you can uh, marks accordingly marking audit accordingly right um, that's for the quick uh, view of the uh, submitted uh, quiz as for the responders you need to uh, again go to the main page of the course and then click on this dashboard and navigate to the uh, respective quiz uh, for your information a responders uh, in order to uh, in order for the report to be available um, based on the responders guideline it indicates uh, it takes about 24 hours before the uh, the answer a class result can be viewed here class results mean let me quickly show if there is any if you are lucky then we can see uh, class results are the uh, set of a summary of the uh, responders uh, monitor if i can open this one a summary summary like this so you have students and then you have a uh, review priority those with uh, highly suspicious event uh, happening then it will have high uh, priority that's mean there are uh, lots of uh, suspicious suspicious event there um, let's go back we are almost uh, three we have two minutes left let's see if i can open that so remember i have one attempt uh, that attempt is still under processing so it takes uh, time if i can open the previous one let me try go to the previous quiz um e proctoring with lectures i try with the student it's okay I try with lecture also fine uh, give it a try you can 
type in the question. Let me read uh, some of the question. Okay, Dr. Zahir is uh, helping answering your question. Thank you, Dr. Zahir. This is uh, spectrum exam. Spectrum exam lecturer. This is the one we created just now. Spectrum exam, spectrum. Let me try this. So it really takes a uh, time to load this this window. Um, so at the end, uh, you we actually you actually will be able to see a summary like this. And then when you click on that, you will be seeing this. Uh, the flat time so um at the top are the uh, student photo student id if you enable those configuration and then followed by suspicious event right i think uh let me see question from here Um, if you have any, uh, if you have question, uh, you want to uh, post verbally, you can raise your hand. Umu, kita dah pukul tiga dah ni. Umu. Uh, we, um, do you Atau want to stop now? Atau kita take up the question from here and then. Yeah. Okay. I have enabled your mic uh, for all attendees. So if you want to ask question, you can just unmute and you can post your question to Dr. Yazid or Dr. Zahi here. Thank you. I think we uh, extend for another five minutes code because I have another session after this with uh, a student nak rehat sekejap. <laughs> okay, sure. So any questions so far? Uh, I will try to read through this while waiting. In spectrum exam, there are only courses in sector and student content of the course is not available. Yes. Oh, ini Tana punya uh, Puan Tana from PTM. So what she is saying, if you have your question already formulated in your main course, in the teaching and learning platform spectrum there and you want to use the um, question bank from that uh, simply um, uh, download those question bank and then upload the into this new uh, spectrum exam spectrum exam the reason why ptm and also exam section uh, having this separate platform is to ensure when the actual uh, session going on the spectrum is not get overloaded because you know when uh, exam time uh, that's the time when the student trying to download the soft the the, the lecture notes uh, download the videos view the videos uh, that makes the spectrum get uh, overloaded and at the same time we have exam so it is wise to separate the platform that's that's the reason why and also in this new platform spectrum exam it only meant for uh, uh to run the um quiz session and also uh assignment i forgot to mention uh, if you want all your students to submit as assignment you can uh create separate um assignment 
that means and they open the the timing uh, to be appropriate uh, to the uh, exam time lah. That means first student we go to the to this uh, quiz, get uh, question there answer, and then for the handwritten uh, uh, submission, if you want them to upload on assignment, you can do so. Um, whereby after complete everything, responders monitor close and then maybe you give them uh, buffer time, uh, five minutes or 10 minutes to upload. But if you want to use the spectrum, that would be better. Lah. I mean, use the quiz, that would be better. Maybe uh, Pontana can give a guide how to automatically extract all the submissions in one go. Because currently you have to open one by one if you are asking the student to submit in the uh, Spectrum quiz. Um, from Umu, how stable and responders is the reporting software? How confident can we be? In terms of troubleshooting and bugs, I have a large number of overseas students. Um, has this question answered by someone? Okay, we try to uh, address all the questions. We compile them and then we will share uh, the, the answer afterwards. Um, if there's no other thing, I pass back to Umu. Or maybe if uh, Dr. Zahe want to say something. Dr. Zahe? Um, nothing from me. Nothing, yeah. Thanks for helping. Uh, Umu, uh, back to you, Umu. Okay, uh, terima kasih Dr. Yazid. Uh, so, this recording will be shared in uh, Microsoft Stream. Uh, if you have any further question other than what we discussed today, uh, I believe we have an FAQ, correct, Dr. Yazid? Yeah, we're developing FAQ, FAQ uh, and we uh, add on that FAQ. So, and okay. then FAQ will be uploaded either in, I don't know, uh, in acceptable platform lah. Right, okay. So to. if you have any further question, um, any specific situation or uh, question that you have, uh, please uh, send it to edX so we can take a look at it and uh, try to figure out uh, the best solution for you. So with that, thank you everyone. Thank uh, you everyone. We do have a feedback form for you to fill. Uh, let me share my screen for a while. All right. Uh, if you are unable to scan, I'll put the link in the chat uh, conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Do remember to practice with your student. Don't give, uh, don't use responders monitor without testing with your student. <laughs>